in 1984, computing was just leaving the refrigerator, gigantic room era. This Macintosh thing came out. I brought a Macintosh to MIT. All my upperclassmen are coming by and saying, what is that? Like, it's got pictures on it. The Mac was reimagining what a computer could be. There was a smiley face. There was a sense of humor somehow built in. Like, like this partner came in, you could go and play with. Somehow, it's so transparent to an experience that it just enlivens you. I never thought that I would have a career as a musician. I wanted to do everything myself, and the only way that was possible was with Mac. Imagine how powerful it was for the kids. All of a sudden, they were discovering things by themselves. It erases the classroom walls. They could tell there was a vision behind it. It inspired people to think what's possible, and that made people do better work. It seemed to speak the same language we were speaking. It looked great, and it was elegant. It was naturally where all the designers and all the image makers would go. The Mac for me is the tool to get my ideas out of my head and collaborate with people to explore fields that I couldn't otherwise. We were trying to use this machine in a really provocative and new way, and it was just really cool. Nobody else was doing it. This is what a pioneer looks like. Everything I do could be done in a much more interesting way using the Macintosh. All artists are like this. You, get, you give us a new paint box and we're going to go crazy. We're not going to go to sleep, we're not going to go to eat. We're just going to go and play with this thing because it's inspiring. Now everyone uses this one piece of like remarkable ubiquitous technology. I really never thought it would be this truly worldwide democratization of creativity. The great power of tools like the Macintosh is precisely that you can't predict where they're going to go. The future of creation, it's really bringing people together and bringing ideas together. Nobody had any idea 30 years ago what the world was going to be like now or how these tools were going to be used. They're interesting precisely because you don't know how they're going to be used tomorrow. And that's the beauty and the power of Macintosh. <laughs>